Hey guys, and welcome to subscriber replay number blah 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 I don't know. I have no idea. The only thing I know is that we have Mihai Sorin 2 in his T54. And this match... Oh god. Yeah, it's a special one. So, I haven't seen it. I just know the results. Which could mean that he just he's just sniping, doing absolutely nothing. But I don't think so, because the damage dealt and the damage, uh, you know, uh, spotting damage and, and stuff like that, it just shows a different story. So um, let's see here what he... Uh, oh, okay, he's, he, uh, he's missed now twice. Once on the move and once right there. So let's see what he's going to do right here. Misses again against the... Chinese tier 10, the W set 120. I can't remember his uh, reload speed, but I think it hurts a lot more. Yeah, it's like 390 damage in one shot. So, uh oh, IS3 right there. Watch out, dude. Watch out. Oh god, and E75 right there. Watch out. <laughs> he gotta be. He has to be really careful right here. W set coming around the corner. Pretty silly of him. He knew that the um, T54 was right there, so I don't see any point in him going out there. E75, he could bounce it. Yep, and he does. He fakes it into shooting at his lower glazes there. E75, even though it shows his side, it still bounces the shell from the T54. See if it does here. Didn't, and he got tracked. It's a very good shot right there. MX1390. I highly doubt that he'll be able to penetrate the front of the T-54. But yeah, we are playing this map, or this battle, with this tank, because I often get Christian, play this tank. And I don't have the tank, so I, I, I can't really do it. He sets fire. He sets the E-75 on fire. He sets fire on this one. He sets this tank on fire. The W set 120 uh, turns his tanks, his tank and his turret the wrong direction at the same time. So he, his turret goes into the rock instead of just being ready to fire at the T-54 as he comes around the corner. So he didn't get any shots off there on the on Mihai. So let's see what Mihai is going to do here. He's already up to 2100 damage. And there he goes, 2194 that's very nice damage up so far. In 10 hits, he's now up to 2,500. Rounding up. Ish, ish, ish. You can do that. But as we can see right now, the teams are pretty even. The tier 9s, they have one more tier 9 on Mihai's team. With the Yaktiga over the Centurion. Or is it a caravan? I can't remember. But as you can see, the replay is in another language. And so is the uh, battle results. But the numbers speak for themselves, so there will be no confusion when, once we're looking at the stats. Sees a Tiger 2 in the distance, and he penetrates it easily. The T-54 is a tank that I would love or like to get, but it's just I still don't have the biggest engine on the T-44, so that tank is super sluggish. I don't think I own it anymore. I actually think I sold it because I didn't play it, so there was no point for me to sit, to have it in the garage, just sitting there and rotting. So the enemy is just pushing forward into the face of the, the allied tanks here. E75 is shooting where? I can't really see where. Okay, he shot him right. Okay, he did know where to shoot him. But he is surrounded by an IS-8, a T-34, and a Super Pershing. So this won't end well for the poor E75 there. Let's see if I can kill this one. Yep, there we go. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. But behind the E75 is a Tiger II and a Caravan. So he really has to be careful. And the Tiger II does indeed take out the E75 there. An AMX-50 Fosh is also on the field. The Yaktiga has died. I didn't really notice that. See right now the um, T-54. Oh my god. Okay. He died there. 
Poop, poop, and dead. Oh, he guessed wrong. The AMX uh, 1390 was actually on the other side of the hill right there. He's spotted by the Super Pershing, but trying to snipe a Super Pershing from a distance, that's not a very good idea in my opinion, because the spaced armor is all over the place, and if you don't hit that weak spot, then you're just not going through. But as we can see, he's up to 4,838 damage so far. That is quite a lot when you do a maximum of, or an average of 320 in the, the, the T-54. He takes a shot. I think that was on purpose. He just let it hit him. Uh oh, gun depression, gun depression. And the damage roll was not high enough. Gotta watch out for the Fosh, though, on the side. Doesn't look like he's aware. He's probably aware of it. Oh, will the IS-8 reload faster than you? Or, uh-oh. Oh, I wouldn't aim there. But he got him. Or they died. See if you can get this one. Nope. Nope, it retreats. So I think the priority target is the Fosh right now. But going that direction, no. No, 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 no. Go the other one. Go the other way. You're quick. You're very quick. You could flank it. And the IS-8 could then help you. But... He does get tracked. Oh, he tracks it. Very nice move. Very nice move indeed there. He fixes its track though. And he gets tracked again. Oh, we get out of the way. 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 Very nice. He can't fix his track now. He has just used his repair kit. He should be firing at the same track. Just to keep it... Lucky there, very lucky that the IS-8 decides to track him as well to keep him alive. Very lucky there, but he does get... Oh god, oh god, oh god, he's hurt by the super pershing in the middle there. But he does focus on the AMX-50 Fosh there, watch out, watch out, super pershing! How to get out of the way there! Oh, super pershing, he's a one-shot for the IS-8. But there's still two AMX-50, or 1390s, all over the place. Can he penetrate the front of the T-54? That is the question. But with those two looming around, I wouldn't count on being able to just go for it. Oh my god, full health. Oh my god, full health. That's bad. That's really bad, actually. That's really bad. But the other AMX 1390 is at low HP. Let's see if they're in platoon. Yep, they're in platoon. As you can see there, low HP. Watch out. Ouch. Ouch. So, um, just to let you guys know, this game is a loss. But you will see on the... Uh, well, you can see the damage done. It's just insane. Uh, 7,000 damage done. Pretty whack. And, well, the Ice Age should be able to take these guys out. But the game turns out as a loss. But you can see here... He still got a ton of XP for losing that one. He got top three on the enemy team, which was winning and got the bonuses for winning. So, very nice game, dude.